A conversation with black women continues on ABC News Live. Here again, Deborah Roberts. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, now we're going to talk about something that I think we can all relate to because we've been talking about it here, <laughs> sisterhood and support. As mothers, whether you're single or partnered, oldest daughters, therapists, we have a lot of responsibility and acquired weight on our shoulders. Mm -hmm. So the big question is, who do you turn to for support? Because we, you've been talking about how we got to get it out, yeah. but we also need support too. So do you all have girlfriends, sisters? Who do you turn to, Marlene? Yeah, so I turn to my mother. That's one person I could say I could start with and also a lot of my close girlfriends. Mm. We've been friends our entire lives. So oh, I'm 36 wow. years old. Wow. <laughs> so 36 years. What a blessing years, though to yes, have girlfriends that Very long. big blessing. So 36 years of friendship. So I turn to them for everything the tears, the high moments, the lows. You know, if I'm going through something, I know one of them's gonna call me up, like, sis, you good? Mm. Or let me send you something on DoorDash. So like, you know, several months ago, I lost my father. Um, he died of congested heart failure and just <sighs> so sorry. through surgery. And I knew that time was coming, but having them in my life during that entire year to process that was very helpful. And even afterwards, because sometimes when you lose a loved one, people tend to forget. After the funeral, it gets, it gets crooked. quiet. It yes. gets yeah. really quiet. Yeah. But for them to check in constantly during the holidays or, you know, the low moments or the highs, and it's like, okay, I know you are celebrating a win, mm. but how are you feeling? Because I know you would normally call your dad up for this. Mm. So it's really good to have, you know, you know, women around me that I can trust, that I can, you know, they see my all. They see my flaws and mm. still love me where I'm at. That's important. That's, That's so good. important. I lost my brother-in-law recently, and I had a number of friends who were checking in, emailing, texting, you know, how are you doing? I know this is a hard time. How about you, and how are you connecting with people? Is it through Zoom? Is it over the phone? And who's, who's holding you up? Who's holding you up? It's a little up? bit of everything. Like, I feel I've got, I've got women have made a, a huge influence on black women in particular in my life. And so, no disrespect to the brothers, but, like, black women have helped me down. And I've got different levels. I've got these women who have been like mentors to me, like moms, because I didn't have my mom. And so I just adopted other people's moms. Like, you're my mom now. Yeah. So I have like this group of moms that I go to. And what I love about them is they don't see Yvette Simpson. They mm. just see their baby. Mm. And sometimes I just need to be that baby. Like, I just need you to just, you know, yeah. get me through it. And then I have my sister friends where it's like, okay, we're going to get on, because a lot of my friends from college, we're all across the country. We're going to get on a Zoom. We're going to gra grab a glass of wine. You know, uh -huh. I love my wine. Uh -huh. And we're just going to talk it out. And, mm -hmm. and, and it's hard because we're so far apart and we can't get together, but it feels similar because I feel like we can then be honest. I had a, a Zoom birthday party for one of my friends who's in Tennessee, and we had 25 black women oh, wow. on a call. Yeah. On a just call? Going could anybody about, get a word in it? I mean, it was a long call, <laughs> and of course there was wine, so as it went longer, then it got more fun. Uh, by the way, we should do this one. Uh, uh, yeah, wine next, next time. Next, time. Uh, next time. But yeah, it was really. I mean, it's uh, different depending on what I need, because there are people who I, like I said, rely on me, and then I have to go to other people to be able to put it there. And there is um, actually um, expert um, um, research that shows that uh, women having women friends around them really makes a difference in our lives and our mental health health and all of that. Who's holding you up? So interesting. I have, um, I have like such a, a wide variety of women that live around that are in my circles. I have my professional friends. I have my old friends and I have my, my, my male friends too. I have a lot of friends in my life. I, but I am a very private when it comes to my emotions. And I think again, it's how I was raised. Mm. I wasn't raised to share how I feel. Mm. So I always feel if I'm going to share that it's, it's, I feel weak. I feel mm. I had there's a little shame in it for me. Mm. And I'm trying to, to deal with that, that it's okay to speak out about things that are tough, but I'm not, I'm not that one. I'm always the one who's always moving forward, always, you know, it, on the surface, everything looks perfect. But there are days when I am really just, and I don't even understand why I don't want to get out of bed today, why I want to <laughs> stay in the bed all day and night. Some, and I blame it on being tired a lot of times, but some days I'm just reflecting on my emotions. And But I will talk to my daughters. My oh, daughters are wonderful oh, yeah. supporters. And um, But when I really need to have that good old ugly snotty cry <laughs> i'm usually talking to my one of my dearest friends or my therapist oh and i get it all out that's yeah. important i saw on your <laughs> instagram when uh, and LaShawn's had a big birthday not long ago Ooh. yes I and did. i saw your instagram I and i was so jealous because you had these great parties and all these people around you but they were singing happy birthday she had a video and i saw you look very shyly at your daughter <laughs> it was such a cute cute moment but when you say that i see that i see that in you that you are out there in front of us but yet 
on the other hand, you you have your privacy. I you do. I, I enjoy. Well, it's just one of the ways of, of being an artist. When you're a performer, yeah. you're out there. You're giving your all 100% on stage or in a movie, and and you're you know you're an, you you have to be for the public. But then when it's time to be by yourself or with your emotions, that that's can be. It can be a little, um, can be a little hard to do that. I'll right. say that. No, I, I totally get it. Well, we talk about you know trying to find some joy and mm -hmm. and you know I mean obviously everything is not just you know horrible and, and, and awful in all of our lives, mm -hmm. but trying to find that moment and trying to find that lift I think is so important to yeah. all of us. And mm -hmm. I, I feel like that is my that's what I'm coming out of this pandemic with. I am determined to try to find something to try to celebrate every day, yeah. whether it's like a little flower, how pretty. And if any of you follow me on. Instagram, Instagram. I'm constantly putting flowers on there, but I love flowers. And I, my mom always said, give me my flowers while I'm alive to smell them. And so I just, I guess I sort of passed that on to myself. So I, I love to buy flowers. Yeah. You know? And all they're always beautiful. Finding it everywhere. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's everywhere. I feel yeah. like there are these little peaks of hope and joy every single place you go. And I, and I love to look for that. I, I told you I ch changed all my gots to gets and that, that's just an attitude shift. I don't, I don't have to go to work today. I get to go to work today. Yeah. I don't have to go to the grocery store. I get to go because there are people who don't get to go. Yes, and so that shift, waking up in the morning and saying, thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Every morning, I look my husband in the eye and we say, thank you, Jesus. And we get our day started, finding those little moments of light. And, and I work in politics, so you know. Yes, it's <laughs> it hard to find these days. It can be Very real. hard. Um, and then there's times when I meet you, new young people who are getting into the profession and they have this lightness about them and they inspire me. Give us some thoughts about imparting that kind of um, positivity and optimism, Marlene. I've got a 23-year-old daughter and like so many of the young people these days, she's been really struggling mm -hmm. and so many young people and and you talked about uh, you know some of the sad tragedies that we've heard about uh, with young black people I mean you which is really sort of on the rise in terms of you know self-harm and suicide yes. how do we impart the optimism to our young folks even when things are tough I mean here we are coming out of 20 uh, going into 2022 yeah. trying to come out of the pandemic I'm trying to be optimistic mm -hmm. yes. uh, how do we how do we get our young folks to feel more optimistic you have to find moments of joy. So for me, one of the things I tell parents that have younger, young, young adults or teenage children is allow them to have hobbies, mm -hmm. hobbies that are not based on their performance, hobbies that's not based on them receiving some sort of accolade or award. Mm -hmm. So allowing them to have the space to just be and be creative. Well, you talked about, uh, we started off with the challenge. You said you are exhausted and I feel <laughs> it too. I'm exhausted. Yes. How are you finding rest? Well, I'm, I, that's another thing. I'm, I'm putting it in my calendar. Believe it or not, <laughs> yeah. I now when I have when I look at my day and if it's outrageous, I immediately factor in a couple hours or an hour here, half hour here. And eat, I block off a certain time after, let's say, 10 p.m. for me. My phone is down. Oh, good. I don't pick it up. I, you know, unless I want to look at some funny cat videos on TikTok. <laughs> I will do that. I love those. But yeah, I put I put it in my schedule. Oh, that's I put it good. in my calendar, and I say I'm unavailable good. from this time. I've had to, again learning through COVID, learning through the pandemic, how to value my time. I, I feel like that's the silver lining is I've been given my time back. And I now know the cost of my time. Because actors, we're called to do, and singer, as sing as well, all the time. Can you please come sing at my event? Can you please speak at this event? Can you give us, you know, two days just to do a little reading? It's not gonna pay any money, but why can't you? And people are aggressive too. Mm. Absolutely. They will ask. That shocks me how people will ask of you. And I have the disease to please, so I usually yeah. will say yes. Yes, yeah. and then you're then when you do the do it, you're like, oh, why did I say yes I know. to this? Yeah. Yeah. Why did yeah. I say yes to this? Yeah. I don't have time. I'm no too tired. No can be your Absolutely. very best friend, honey. Uh -huh. You have to exactly. <laughs> me and Noah like, like this. Okay? No. Like this. It's, not it's a no for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need one. I need that. Oh, that's good. I it's like that. It's not selfish to say no, and you have to wait the cost of saying yes because yeah. sometimes we say yes too quickly yes. Yes. without adding up what is what is my emotional bandwidth like do I have the capacity to do this thing I'm learning to do the same thing if you don't have the capacity thing. say no because you have to give yourself the best yes first before you can go out there and produce something for someone else okay well I'm gonna have to say no right now we gotta stop okay <laughs> hold on just hold on but we have more to talk Yay. about so we're gonna take one more break but don't go anywhere because when we come back we're gonna look at the revolution of taking rest as we we're talking about yes. the conversation is going to continue right after this
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.